QuickTime Player is one of the simplest and easiest way to record your computer screen and it comes installed on every single Mac. So if you have a Mac desktop or if you have a Mac laptop, you already have QuickTime Player. So in the first half of the video, I'll show you how to record your screen with the QuickTime Player and some of the advanced options that it has. And in the second half of the video, I'll show you something that's a little bit more advanced, but it lets you record internal audio. So basically videos that play on your computer or gameplay audio, you could actually record that while you record your screen. Natively, it doesn't do that, so you do have to take a couple of additional steps. I'll cover all of that in this video. Let's jump on the Mac here. So first things first, go to the search icon right here and type in QuickTime Player, and I'm gonna press Enter right here, and just press Cancel when a pop-up shows up like this. I'm just gonna press Cancel here. Now, all I have to do is go up to File over here and new screen recording is what I want to choose. And it will give you a couple of different options if you look down here. This menu lets you record your entire screen, that's this icon, or the selected portion actually lets you just record a selected portion of your screen. So you could change this to whatever size you want. In most cases, I'll choose entire screen and in the editing, I could kind of bring that in if I want to. These options on the left side are all related to taking a snapshot, not a video. Then over here, under the options menu, right here on top, you could decide where the video gets saved after you stop it from recording. So you could choose your desktop and it will just appear right over here. And the other options are you could save it to any of these folders here and QuickTime Player. But desktop is probably what you wanna do so it's easy to find. You have a timer, so you could set it to a five second countdown or you could save it to none, so it will record immediately as soon as you press record. Under microphone, by default, it's going to be under this option, built-in microphone. That's just a computer microphone. But you could get external microphones here that are really, really higher quality than your built-in microphone. So I'm gonna put a link to this one. Shure MV7 is the one sitting behind me, and I'm using another type of microphone like that on top of me to record this, so you get that quality audio that you wouldn't otherwise get. So if you have that kind of a USB microphone that you wanna plug in, go ahead and choose that. Otherwise, choose in built-in microphone. Towards the end of the video though, I'll show you how to capture the internal sound from your computer. Basically, videos playing on your computer. That takes a little bit of an advanced setup there. Then all these three I leave on here. The check mark is on, but it shows my mouse clicks and it remembers what I chose last time. That's pretty much it. Now you just press record. And then because I don't have a countdown, it's actually recording everything I'm doing on the screen. So if I was to basically press play or open up any folders, it's going to record that. You see this stop sign right here? If I press it right now, just like that, it stops recording. So to see where your recording is going to be, if you look over here, it's gonna just appear on your desktop in a second. There we go, it's just down here in the corner. If I press spacebar, so this is the recording right now. That's what I just recorded and it's ready to go. I could use it to edit or I could post it online. So what if you wanna record what's playing on your computer, the audio from your computer, not just what you're saying with the microphone? Let me show you that. That takes a couple extra steps. The very first thing you need to do is you need to download a plugin that works with QuickTime and I'll put a link below in the description to this page. Just scroll down to download installer here and click right here and this installer is called Black Hole. Now Apple doesn't have anything like this so someone else created this so you will have to type in your information here. I'm not affiliated with this plugin but I've tested it out and it works really really well, the best one out there right now. Then you'll get an email with the download link. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it from here. And there's three options here. I choose the 16 channel option right here. I'm gonna click here and it's gonna download it. I'll click here to install. Go through the installation process here and press install. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and move to trash. It's already been installed. So that was step one, just installing that plugin. Then I'm gonna go to the search icon. And this time we're gonna look for audio MIDI setup. This is a utility app that comes with your Mac already. So double click this to open this up. And this basically looks like this. Now yours is probably a lot cleaner than mine. I'll have a lot of different plugins here. And the black hole one is this one that we've just downloaded here. So a couple of different things you gotta do once this is open. The first thing I need to do on this app is press the plus sign here and I need to create this first option, create aggregate device. Click that 
And before we're done with this creation, we need to check one thing on, on this page. So make sure you check on black hole 16 channel. So I'm going to check that on. So make sure that's checked on first. And if you want to talk while your screen audio is being captured, you need to also check on some sort of a microphone. So either check on the built in microphone. That's just what's on your computer built in. Or if you have an external microphone like the one I recommended, Shure MV7, which is a USB microphone, you could select that too. So either this one, if you have a nicer microphone, just an external microphone or built in microphone. If you don't want to hear yourself talking and just record like a gameplay, then this is fine. That's all you need. I'm going to just select both of those right now. And that's it for this one part. So let's go to part three. So we needed black hole 16 channel as part one, this aggregate device as part two. Part three is press the plus sign and choose multi output device one more time here. And here you also need to check something on, which again, you need to check on built in output. I checked that on first and then 16 channel second. Okay. So you see how I checked on both of those here and they need to be in this order. Now, what I like to do is come over here and name both of these. So then when I select them, it actually makes sense and I know what they are. So this one is the QuickTime input. Okay, I need to put that here. So I remember when I choose this next. And then this one, I'm going to label screen recording audio. Make sure you do this so you have the same names as me. So it's easy to find later. Okay, so that's step three. Now close this right here. And step four is open up system preferences, just this app that comes with your Mac. And there's an option here for sound in this menu, press that. And we just need to change one thing. Instead of input, go to output and then go down here and change it to this last one that we created, which is screen recording audio. So that's what we want to choose as our output. All right, let's close that. That's the end of step four. And the final step is go back to QuickTime player. This is the last step. Open that up again. I'm going to press cancel, go to file, go to new screen recording one more time. This is what we did in the beginning. But now if you click on the options menu, you have a new option, which is QuickTime input, right? What I put in the beginning as QuickTime input our aggregate device, we need to choose this very option. Now I'm going to go ahead and press record. Now let's play some audio here on our Mac. Okay, let me go ahead and pause that. Now this is the QuickTime player recording. So just to show you how well it worked, let's go ahead and press play right here. Now make sure after you do a recording like that, go back to sound and actually get this off of the screen recording audio, right? Because we typically don't want to just leave it on here. I only put it on here when I need to do this process. So refer back to this video. I'll put everything in text form in the description as well. And I'm going to go back to built in speaker internal speaker here. So it's just my regular speaker. If you have a headphone, you could choose that here as well. So if you're just recording your screen without that built in sound, super simple. If you're doing that built in sound for your recording, it's just this one time setup and you just have to change it in the system preferences. So I hope you found this useful. I do have a tutorial to OBS as well. That gives you many, many more options and it's also a free app. So I'll put that in the link below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.